So we have the first update since the major release of Throne and Liberty on console. Uh, this is update 1.1.0 and today guys we get into it all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm giving away 1000 plus Lucent. Now to win it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active on my videos the more of a chance you have of winning. I'll pick a winner from the comment section and announce them tomorrow on my next Throne and Liberty video. So good luck everybody. Okay, so tweeted out literally five minutes ago as I make this video from their official Twitter They've stated and gave us the patch notes or the update notes for the update of 1.1.0 for Throne and Liberty. So let's check them out. Okay, so they state firstly, Throne and Liberty update 1.1.0 downtime will begin at 12.30 a.m. PT. Uh, this is 7.30 a.m. UTC and this will happen on October 3rd. And well, if you are a UK player like me, this is 8.30 a.m. in the morning. Now, they say this will last approximately six hours. Now, it also includes bug fixes for UI, various settings, and more help to make your welcome into Solisium an even smoother experience. Check out the full release notes broken down by platform down below so let's indeed check them out and these are the changes coming for all platforms so this is pc xbox and the ps5 boss effects mechanic markers should now appear more reliably under high visual effect counts okay that's cool ui guild status will no longer have an erroneous writer hashtag appended to the text okay so ui congratulatory package will no longer remain visible on the shot UI after it has been claimed. Again, more of the UI, fixed controller D-pad becoming unresponsive after equipping an outfit in a mirror boutique. UI again, fixed controller navigation in the guild menu when searching for a guild. I mean, I actually had a massive problem with this, but my problem was when I was creating my own guild. I had some major, major issues here. To be honest, the UI in the game, the menu and navigating it on console can be extremely buggy. I made a video on it the other day in regards to the best settings you can have on console. And my best tip I can give players is to hold in that left thumbstick. If you play on console, that is by the way, where you get into that emergency mode or safety mode, we can use like a a magic cursor which just makes navigating all menus so much easier to do i wish they would incorporate this uh, as soon as you activate it it stays as long as you stay in the menus because at the minute now if you trigger this emergency mode if you click on a different menu or a tab in your inventory or something you have to do it again you have to activate it again which is a bit of a pain in the ass so hopefully within the next update guys this is something they look into Okay, so settings. When privacy settings restrict friend requests, these requests will no longer appear when relaunching the game. Cool. Localization. Apply the latest localization updates, including the correction of several untranslated strings in the game text and voice over. Okay, so cool. So that is all we have for all platforms. Now we're going to move on to the Xbox Series X and S and the PlayStation 5. These are console only here. So frame requests can now be accepted if the player is offline or in another world area. Now last night I was having massive problems with this. It wouldn't let me add my friend in game, which is just weird. On the first early access server we were playing, it was perfectly fine. When we joined a new world to join new players, um, we couldn't add each other and we'd been wiped from our previous, well, hookup in regards to accepting each other's stream requests. So yeah, weird one, but hopefully this is fixed now. Okay, so the Xbox Series X and S graphics increase resolution of the world map. I play on the Xbox Series X. I can't really say I've noticed uh, anything major in regards to the resolution of the world map but hey settings fixed behavior of some ugc settings related to guilds okay that's cool okay so settings again players with restricted privacy settings will no longer see blank whisper chats from blocked players that's a weird one and then guys we have ps5 now we have graphics optimizations to reduce screen tearing 
issues. The screen tearing issues on the PS5, that kind of sucks, I'm not going to lie. But hey, it is what it is. And then they say thank you for your support. And we'll see you in Silesium. And there we have it guys, that is the patch update of 1.1.0. Again guys, 6 hours. 6 hours the game is going to be taken offline for approximately. So it could be even more than this. So, and going off the time frame of this happening at 12.30 a.m. PT, which is quite early for some folks. In regards to the, a lot of people will be asleep here. Yeah? Uh, if PT is your time zone. So it'll come back up online around that half six half seven in the morning which is cool you can wake up and probably jump back on uh, in regards to utc 7 30 a.m the server should be back up for you around that 1 30 p.m mark which isn't too bad again uk folks uh, it's going to be like an hour later than this it's going to be around at 2 30 and that is if guys that is if it's only down for six hours hopefully it's a little shorter i know what i'm going to do now guys because i was planning on waking up in the morning and going and jumping on the game and probably making a couple more videos but i think now guys i'm probably just gonna go get my car washed and do a few things outside it's about time i went outside and touched some grass i'm not gonna lie to ya but yes overall guys to be honest i had early access to the game i played for about three days four days and it was quite decent i thought it was gonna be a lot more buggier in regards to the release upon release it hasn't been too bad yes i know there's been server issues just i know they've expanded the servers uh, they've added many many more which is a great great thing that's what we all expected but i played new world upon release and that thing was horrendously buggy and i was really expecting the same for throne and liberty but it actually isn't that bad and there's a few things that still need to be fixed in my opinion that i haven't mentioned in these patch notes uh but nothing of major i'm still getting a few weird here and there in regards to favoriting certain quests quests disappearing out of my tab so i don't know what i've got to do and a few other things in regards to the ui and the menu i also hope they fix the uh ring wheel uh, more feature because there is a more feature in regards to on your ring wheel this for me and it's been like this since before the game was officially launched uh, i can't morph into or i can't shape shift into specific shape shifts i have unlocked via the morph wheel i have to go into the morph section tab across to special um, and then go down to shape shift and do it right there which is a bit of a pain in the ass so yeah although i've unlocked quite a few of these i mean it's just a pain in the ass to even equip them so yeah Hopefully that's fixed soon too. But yeah guys, there we have it for the latest and greatest in regards to the game. This is update of 1.1.0. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.